Yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions about the OLED screen for the Quadrino. So I figured I'd just cover a couple basics and maybe answer some of those questions for a, for a couple people. And uh, I install it just right there. It's really tiny. That's about it. And it shows you a lot of information and you can use it to configure your uh, radio or just troubleshoot in general and see what's going on with the board. It's the Quadrino board. You actually connect it here to the 3.3 volt. Right here. You plug in your quad. It'll just turn on to scroll through the pages. Just take your stick and go up and up and to the right. Really quick, I'm going to show you how to enter into configuration mode. Um, the trick is is that you, you have to take this stick and move it over but that's also the command to arm the board so now the board is armed so we want to disarm the board make sure your board is disarmed and you want to take this stick and go up and then take the stick and you go into the arm position just let it go and then now we're in PID mode configuration mode on the screen as you can see and let's just go up and down to scroll through and then they go left and right to change the values to exit exit and save is down and down this way but I'm gonna exit without saving so it's kind of the reverse you wanna go to the arm this won't arm the board the board's in the state disarm now and you're not going to change any values and then I'm going to go up on it and that's going to save save all the values that you changed here's a little close up of the PID setting menu it's really simple you can just go up and then if you want to change just go left and right To scroll through the pages, just take your stick and go up and up and to the right. And here's a little close up shot of the screen. The first screen has the running time and um, the second screen is the gyro of movement so if you move the quad you'll see it move the third screen is the switches so you can see home auto level barometer It's home, return to home. This screen is actually the, the movements of your sticks so you can calibrate. And the next screen is your motor outputs. If it was running, you could see the motor outputs, what it's giving out to the motors. And that's it.